again, Red Hat developers. This is Jason from the Red Hat Developers Program. Welcome back to the Dev Zone at Summit 2017. Here with us today, we have Brad Mickley from Code Envy. He's going to show us how to try it now, a better evaluation experience in the cloud. Hello, everyone. So we all know that the uh, Red Hat Developer website is a fantastic resource for getting access to new Red Hat technologies and experiment, experimenting with them as developers. And it's actually just gotten a lot better. Um, because we're going to be rolling out new Try It Now buttons for all the key technology pages like JBoss EAP7. So an example I want to show you today is we're going to show how that Try It Now button is going to take you directly into a fully functioning browser-based IDE. We'll be able to edit code, deploy code, see your changes, all without having to configure anything. So rather than start with slides, actually, let's jump right into the product. I'm going to show you the demo. Let me flip over to the product. So when you click that Try It Now button, you're going to end up here inside a browser-based IDE. And you have everything that you need at your fingertips. You've got your kitchen sink application. You've got a container that has already got RHEL on it, has already got JBoss EAP7 all properly configured. And that application is exposed, of course, in the Eclipse Che IDE. So I can come here and I can get context-sensitive, autocomplete for packages or for specific methods. I can do things like, let's rename. Let's do a little bit of refactoring here. So I'm just going to rename this particular variable. And there you go. It's been renamed. So I've got all that power within my browser without having had to configure anything. Not my IDE, not JBoss, nothing. Now at the same time, when I start that Try It Now experience, it's actually going to start JBoss itself deploy my app into it and my live changes, and I can get to it by clicking this little preview link. It opens a brand new uh, tab in my browser, and as you can see, I've got the app, so now I can interact with it. Again, I've not configured anything at all here. So I'm gonna enter in my data, register, and bang, there I am. So I'm actually now in 30 seconds. I've gone in, I've got JBoss installed, RHEL installed, I've got my app, I'm experimenting with it, I'm running it, I'm experiencing the technology and I'm figuring out already ways that I could use it for my application. So that's pretty amazing and what a lot of times people then ask is how does this all happen? So let's talk a little bit about that because the technology behind this is actually very cool. So first of all, the runtime that you see in that containerized machine actually can come from production. Now, in this case, of course, we're using a sample application because this is about experimenting with JBoss EAP. But you could take it to another level, take your container-based recipes for your production instances and bring those into a developer-based IDE. Each developer would get that same set of containers networked together with all the correct permissions and controls so they can now be editing against production. Then we dev mode the workspace. That means that we go and insert the code. We inject agents that allow SSH, terminal, uh, Git, uh, whatever the developer needs in order to now develop and interact with Ladies that runtime, like EAP7. Welcome to the Red Hat Summit 2017. Importing from version control and going back to version control is dead easy. Support for Git, for SVN, from zipped up projects, and public and private repos. And if you don't like a browser-based IDE, although it requires no config and it's super easy, you can use a mountain sync with your desktop IDE, with things like Eclipse desktop IDE or IntelliJ or whatever Vim, Emacs, your, your flavor is. And perhaps most importantly is ultimately as you move forward, this can be connected into tools like Jira, Jenkins, or the rest of the OpenShift and OpenShift IO family. And that really enables the collaboration within the team experimenting with new technologies, bring team members in so they're exposed to them, and figure out how to build that up into your next great production application. Thanks very much for having me. If you're at the show, you can visit us at booth 308 or visit us online at codeenvy.com.